today we are going to discuss about the first chapter of class 8 that is of rational numbers and this is of part 1 in this video i am going to give you this introduction regarding the rational numbers then shall we start the class yes natural numbers firstly before going to discuss about rational numbers let us uh, recall that what we learned about uh, number system in the previous classes in the previous classes you might have learned about the natural numbers and uh, we know that these natural numbers are, all, are also called as uh, counting numbers and these natural numbers are denoted by n okay so all the past two numbers that is 1 2 3 so on are called as a natural numbers or counting numbers and set of natural numbers is denoted by n then of course we learned about the um, whole numbers whole numbers means what the all the natural numbers along with the zero along with the number zero forms a set of whole numbers that means zero one two three so on or call as an a whole numbers and set of whole numbers is denoted by capital w then of course we discussed about uh, integers integers means what means integers consist of natural numbers zero and uh, negative of natural numbers if you observe this these integers are denoted by z or i and in this uh, integers we have natural numbers one two three and zero and we have negatives of natural numbers as a minus one minus two minus three and so on okay these are the integers and uh, there are infinite infinite integers on the positive side and uh, infinite integers towards the negative side okay how many integers are there towards the positive side that means infinitely many and towards the level, towards the negative side also there are infinitely many integers we have and uh, past two integers are represented by z plus okay so these are what are the past two integers all the natural numbers call as an uh, past two integers and negative integers means what negatives of these natural numbers is called as a uh, minus one minus two minus three are called as an negative integers and set of negative integers represented by z minus and you need you need to understand one thing that is of zero is a uh, neither prime nor sorry zero is neither past two nor negative zero is neither past two nor negative okay now we will go to discuss about uh, rational numbers and this is rational numbers are denoted by q okay firstly let us discuss the definition of rational numbers the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q both are integers p and q both are integers and q is not equal to zero are called as an uh, rational numbers and set of rational numbers is denoted by q set of rational numbers is denoted by q okay what is the definition of rational numbers the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q are called as an uh, rational numbers and set of integers is a uh, set of rational numbers is denoted by capital q and let us see the few examples regarding the rational numbers let us see the first example 2 by 5 2 by 5 is a rational number why it is a rational number means as we have 2 and 5 both are integers and 5 is not equal to 0 okay as it is in the form of p by q where p is 2 q is 5 and p and q both are integers and q is not equal to 0 okay and number only 5 the 5 is also a rational number because 5 can be written as 5 by 1 where 5 and 1 are belongs to integers they are integers and 1 is not equal to 0 that means denominator is not equal to 0 so this is a rational number and if you take a number 0 0 is also a rational number 0 is a rational number because 0 can be expressed as 0 by 5 or 0 by minus 7 or so on that means 0 can be written as 0 by any number if you take then you get a um, zero only okay so that's why zero is also considered as a 
rational number. But if you take uh, any number by 0, it is 5 by 0 is not a rational number because if you take a 5 and 0, both are integers, but the denominator is 0. As for the condition of the rational numbers, as for the definition of rational numbers, rational numbers are defined as the numbers which can be written in the form, written in the form of p by q, where p and q must be integers and q is not equal to 0. Here, what is a q here? p is 5, q is 0. That means denominator is 0. If the uh, denominator of uh, any number is 0, then that will not be defined as an uh, rational number actually division by zero is not defined that's why it is not defined number okay that's why it is not a it is not defined as a rational number and if you see this uh, next example that is of minus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 is also a rational number because minus 3 and 4 both are integers and a denominator q which is of 4 which is not equal to 0 and next example, this is very very important. Next example is 0 0.3 is a rational number. 0 0.3 is a rational number because 0 0.3 can be written as 0, 3 by 10. 3 by 10. On removing the decimal point, we need to take 1. And as we have 1 decimal place, we need to take a 0. That, that's why we can write this uh, 0 0.3 in the fraction form as 3 by 10. So, here... What is the fraction form of 0 0.3? That is of 3 by 10. That means, is it in the form of P by Q? Yes, it is in the form of P by Q. What is a P here? P is 3, Q is 10. P is 3, Q is 10. And uh, Q is not equal to 0. That means, P and Q, 3 and 10 are belongs to integers. And 10 is not equal to 0. That's why 0 0.3 is a rational number. And let us see the few important concepts that is under the note one as a note one we have we are discussing that every natural number and uh, each whole number each integer and each fraction is a rational number that means each natural number is also called as a rational number that means every natural number is uh, will be treated as a rational number that means if you take a natural number as a 2020 and this is a natural number if it is a natural number then it will be treated as a rational number also that means 2020 is a natural number and it is also rational number in the same manner every whole number is a rational number and every integer is a rational number and every fraction which is obviously in the form of p by q so that is also a rational number and while we are discussing about fractions we are including the decimal fractions we are dis including the decimal fractions on including decimal fractions that means the decimal fractions are also called as an uh, rational numbers okay every every decimal number is also a rational number and next note is that there are infinitely many rational numbers there are infinite number of rational numbers we have there are infinite number of rational numbers we have this is a, what a brief introduction regarding the rational numbers so let us revise what we learned we learned about the rational numbers what is the definition of rational numbers means the numbers which can be written in the form of p by q or a, and where p and q are integers or said is what rational numbers okay this is a definition of rational numbers and in the next video we are going to discuss about the uh, properties of rational numbers. Okay. Thank you friends for watching this video.